guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be doing a little Q&A so you guys can get to know me a little and I'm going to be showing you this little makeup look here. It's kind of like a dewy everyday makeup for me or whenever I go out with my friends. So enjoy the video. I like to start off with a moisturized and sunscreened face. So I've already done that. By the way, I am not a makeup artist by any means. I just like to do my makeup every now and then so I have a few errands that I'm gonna run this morning I'm gonna go in with the NARS sheer glow yeah I just do like a few little drops by the way I'm kind of blind right now because I don't have my glasses on and I don't have eye contacts or anything so hopefully I'm able to see I get like a wet beauty sponge and I kind of take a little bit of that and I put it basically on any points of my face like all points of my face my skin's been doing a lot better. It was breaking out a lot while I was in Vietnam, but I think it's doing a lot better now. I just have a few acne scars, like especially around my chin area. I basically blend this all into my skin. This foundation is a little darker than my actual skin tone, but it was because I bought this when I was still a little bit tanned. It, it'll still blend in and you won't really tell the difference, but if you guys can see it, I don't know. It looks different in the camera. Okay, so first question, where are you from? I'm from Brisbane, Australia. I was born and raised here. And connected to that, another question is, what's your ethnic background? So I am full Vietnamese. Both of my parents are full Vietnamese. They came from, they immigrated from Vietnam. How tall are you? I I'm pretty sure I'm one meter and 57 centimeters, but it's weird because actually I haven't been professionally measured. I just like measure with a, like a tape measure. Hopefully that's like accurate, but I'm guessing 1.57, which is like five foot two or something in like American measurements. But I've stood next to my friends before and some of them said like, are you sure? Because like we're the same height and I'm like say 162 or something like that. And I'm just like, I don't know. But I, I say that I'm 157. That's what I say in my like doctors or any documents that I have to fill out. Like I just say 157. But yeah, I like to do like a light layer of foundation because my skin easily breaks out and I don't know if it's to do with my foundation because I've had this foundation for like years. So once I'm done with my foundation, I like to go in with a concealer. I think this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, pretty sure. And I basically put this on my blemishes or my acne scars, beauty marks, because I have like one here that I just don't want to fully cover up, but just to make it look smoother on camera. So once it's all around my face, I go back in with a beauty blender and I'll blend those in. Okay, next question. Do you have any siblings? I have one sibling and I think you, some of you guys have seen him in my videos. So Kevin, he is my younger brother and we are five years apart. I've always wanted a sister though, so like we can go shopping and go to cafes together, but I'm left with like a brother, which is fine. But all jokes aside, me and my brother are like super close. We're like best friends. We actually used to fight all the time when we were younger just because of the age gap. And like he would always cry if we played games and stuff like that because I would always win, of course. Like as an older sibling, you will always win. But as he got older, he got so much better at playing games. And then, then it was even, but. I know a lot of siblings with like a big age gap don't actually get along or they don't really hang out, but yeah, me and my brother are like two peas in a pod, I'd say. Like I am legit thinking like one day if I ever get married, he is definitely going to be one of my, what's, what do you call like a bridesmaid for a guy? I don't know. He'll be one of my bridesmaids, brides, gentlemen's, <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but yeah, I definitely will make him because he's been just such a big part of my life. So I like to keep my life particularly private 
So I will share some things online, but some things I feel more comfortable keeping to myself. Once I'm done with my foundation and concealer, I go in with like a setting spray just to keep my face moist where it's really good to maneuver all of the makeup around. So I'm just going to do like a tiny little spritz. I don't know how some people can like do this with their like, while they're talking with their mouth open because I just don't want any cigs in my mouth. After the foundation and concealer, I like to go in with like a this is a lip tint, but I use it like as a blush as well. I found this online through Lazada when I was living in Vietnam and it's called Hero Range or Her Orange. I'm not sure. Like, yeah, I just found it. It had a lot of good reviews and it was cheap, so I just, just got it. Put a little bit in my hand. I basically just like dot it on my cheekbones and I add a little bit in the middle um, of my nose. Oh yeah, when's my birthday? Okay, so my birthday is 29th of September. Then I blend it in with my finger and I kind of like follow like my eye shape. So I go from like here under the corner of my eye all the way out to basically near my temple. And the reason why I place it here is because it just like makes my face look more snatched, if you know what I mean. Like I've tried like making it lower and it just looks makes my face more round more rounded than it already is like i have a pretty like oval round boxy face shape so i kind of wanna not take away from it but like enhance the beauty of it you know okay so like how old am i i am 24 but this year as of 2024 i'll be turning 25 which i'm really excited for probably around my 22nd birthday I didn't really want to age like I really liked 22 like just because of the events that happened in my life and feeling I have everything together in a way I think now that I'm going to be turning 25 at the end of this year I'm actually quite excited because I feel like a lot of people go through existential crises or a midlife crisis so technically I'll be having a quarter life crisis which I'm not gonna try and say too early but I'm actually really loving my my life right now I, I really like not the slow pacedness but how more stable it's become I love being around more of my family and my friends here in Australia and of course I really miss my family and friends in Vietnam as well but I feel like just the lifestyle in Australia is a lot more, how can I put this, a lot more up my alley. That's like, that's how I can word it. Just like the weather and I think, especially because like I have asthma, oh, another fun fact, I have like asthma. So every month in Vietnam, I was kind of like struggling with my asthma attacks. Like just every month, like once a month, I would get like, uh, it would be a little bit hard to breathe for me. So coming back actually, like, I remember I would only get asthmatic attacks once a year in Australia. So I think like, I really like the clean air and how it's like a little bit less polluted or a lot less polluted. But other than that, I really loved the lifestyle I had in Vietnam as well. Like it was so convenient, legit. You would have like stores right outside and you could basically, th there was food everywhere. So that's what I really liked. I really liked the convenience of Vietnam. And when you order on the app, like using Grab, it's so cheap and easy to get food, but also to travel from place to place. So I really liked that part about Vietnam. I wish I had that here in Australia. But yeah, there's just like a lot of, you know, not pros and cons, but like just different things in different countries when you live there. By this point, I still have like a little bit on my hand. So I get my like my little pinky finger and I put that on my lips. Put it in the middle. I don't know, I, I don't make this too complicated. I just kind of like... Just do that until I'm happy with the color. Okay, what are your biggest pet peeves? I feel like I have a lot of pet peeves and they're all to do with like people <laughs> but yeah I think like just 
normal. Like, I hate liars. I don't like it when people lie. And, oh, this might just be me, but I, I don't like it when people play their music too loud. Yeah, maybe it's just like consideration for other people around you. I just really don't like it when people boom up, like especially if it's like a neighbor or something, when they like turn up their volume or like they're not really considerate of people around them. Or when people talk too loudly in public. I don't know why. It's just like... Okay. Another pet peeve for me is when people talk negatively about other people. Especially if like you're having such a good time and stuff like that and then suddenly they talk really badly about someone or about themselves and I'm just like Why do you do that? There's like we only have so much time in In our lives, why would you want to spend like I don't know 30 30 minutes to over hours and hours like talking about someone badly like I love good gossip and especially if like there's some really good tea but if you're putting someone else down or putting yourself down a lot it's just like really yeah I don't know how to explain it like icky for me I don't know stop being so negative like live your life how you want to live and be happy you know spread like positivity when I'm done with like my blush and doing my lip tint I like to go in with, this is something I also found on Lazada, it's just something cheap that I found on there. And basically I contour just my nose because I feel like I already have quite, um, not high cheekbones, but it's kind of already like defined in a way, like I get that from my parents. So I kind of go in with just my nose and I put it. This is where I place it. Like, I just place it near the tip of my nose, like right under the tip. And I just do like lines, like that. And I do it on the top. And just blend it with my finger. I don't even know if this actually makes a difference, but I just do it. And that's all I do with my eyebrows because like they're kind of thick. Um, I don't really do anything with them. I just kind of brush through them with my fingers. I wish I had less eyebrow hair, but so that it's easier to like, you know, fill in and make lighter. I actually want to dye my eyebrows a bit lighter just because I feel like it's like the center of attention on my face. And I kind of want my eyes to be the center of attention. But yeah, I'm just going to leave it like that for now. So now I go in with a little bit of eyeshadow and basically I just get like any is this like a brown kind of color and I kind of like line my eyes before I put on actual eyeliner the thing about me guys is sometimes I can be a bit dramatic so you might see that sometimes especially if I'm doing like sit down videos in my videos I feel like I'm a little bit more calm when we're out and about but sometimes I get a little dramatic when we're just like sitting because I feel like I'm just like sitting with a friend so I can be like as dramatic as I want to be or I can just be myself but and I'm just gonna do one eye first and then I'll do the other eye later but yeah so I don't know if you can see that but basically just like eyeliner before the eyeliner like with using eyeshadow then I go with like a little bit of a lighter color and I do this under my eyes so near my waterline but not on my waterline this is inspired by like egg yourself, but I go in again with this lighter color and I'll try and attempt to do an egg yourself, which is like that Korean or like sometimes I see in Duyin, du Duyin, Duyin makeup where you have like a little puff under your eye. I don't know if I could do this on camera. Gosh. Is that too much? I don't know. I oh, know, I feel like I can see the difference, like, between the two eyes. Then I get, like, the lightest color in the palette and brighten up that little puff under the eyes. Or, like, brighten up the egg your soul. So, what countries have you been to? I think I've been to four countries. So, okay, not including my home, Australia, Vietnam. Thailand, Singapore, Malaysia. Yeah, I've been to those four countries. 
but my bucket list is Japan but it's like so expensive to go to and also I want to go with someone but all of my friends are like working at the moment so I'm waiting for an opportunity to go with one of my friends or two of my friends or something but yeah bucket list maybe next year Japan I'm hoping next I like to go in with an eyeliner pencil. This one is called Silky Girl Long Wearing Eyeliner. I think I got this from Watson's in Vietnam. I really like this formula because it's actually creamy, but it has to, you have to warm it up in your hands sometimes because like it does get dry. Oh my god, guys. Okay, I'm gonna cut to after I do my eyeliner. It's a little too boxy, so I kind of go with my fingernail and I kind of like fix it up a little bit. And it helps to like wing it out as well. Okay, another question. What are your top three priorities in life? I feel like my, like currently, top one, health. It has to be health. Like getting more sleep, exercising more, just like lifestyle, you know? Second priority is probably to experience the world a little bit more uh, or actually travel my city a little bit more because I feel like because I grew up here, you just don't, really think that you're in a city that a lot of people might actually want to go to. So I do want to travel and experience my city in other cities around Brisbane, Noosa, Gold Coast, like those areas. And I really want to go to the Whitsundays. Third priority is my family. So other than, you know, the top two is like putting myself first. And I feel like you need to be selfish in life sometimes and put yourself first. So third priority is definitely my family. Um, spending time with my family, going out more with my family, speaking to my family more because I was away in Vietnam, even though I would like talk to them every day. But yeah, they're, they're definitely my third priority on the list. And then all the priorities are like, you know, make more money and, you know, work life balance and all that kind of stuff. I feel like I want to do more quick roulette. Q&A's now, so I'm gonna try and answer as many questions as I can on this list. So, what's your favorite food? Favorite food, Bumbawe from Vietnam. What's your favorite anime? My favorite anime is Kami-sama Hajime Mashita, or like Kami-sama Kiss, that one. That's like one of my top love romantic comedies. What's your favorite movie? Favorite movie, Howl's Moving Castle. It's been my all-time favorite since I was a kid. Favorite animal, I love cats. They're like my favorite animal cat. Favorite color, blue. If you could tell yourself one piece of advice, what would it be? There's so much advice that I would give my younger self, but honestly, to just be true to yourself, you do you, do your own thing, walk on your own path, don't follow anyone else, don't be influenced by others. Yeah, those are the main things. Are you an introvert or extrovert? I would say I'm in between, so what is that called, like an ambivert? I think I'm on the more introverted side because I do get shy in public. I'm still getting used to like filming in public too. Like it's kind of, I don't know, it's not, it's kind of embarrassing, but I shouldn't find it embarrassing because it's like normal. When I'm talking to someone new, maybe I'm 50-50. 50% of the time I'm the, the first person to approach them or 50% of the time um, I let people approach me. So yeah, I think I'm like, like I can be extroverted. Like I love speaking with people, love talking to people, but then also I have like a social battery that goes down. So yeah, I go in with this. I actually love this mascara. So it's called the Sky High Lash Sensational by Maybelline. And I just love the bristles because every other mascara that I've used has like such big bristles and it looks so clumpy in my eyes. So like, this sometimes clumps on my eyes, like it depends on the technique that you do. The bristles are so much smaller and like a little bit more delicate, so. A little technique that I found on YouTube is that you start on your tips, the tips of your eyelashes, and then and then you work your way into the middle of your lashes, so yeah. So like I start on the outer one, so I guess like it makes it longer first, like you make your eyelashes longer first. Oh yeah, also has anyone been watching Physical 100? So I'm on season two and I've just finished it. Does anyone have their Physical 100 crush? Because, oh my God, the guys on there are so good looking. Yeah, let me know who you guys have a crush on. I'm a Hong Bong Suk, he's really good looking. Amoti, Amoti, um, Jae Yun. Yeah, there's like another guy as well, but like, 
those are like my top three. And I'm like, oh my god. But yeah, anyone else have like their physical 100 crush? So I also like to go in, back in with this. Here's my pinky. And I add like a tiny bit on the outer corner. So like as an eyeshadow, I put it on the outer corner. So that's it for the makeup. I'm just gonna take these out now. Going with a setting spray. And the last thing I'm going in with is like a lip gloss. This is by Fenty Beauty. I'm just put the lip gloss with my finger. Because I don't know why. I just don't like contaminating this. Like it's near my mouth. Like. Yeah, this is my everyday going out type makeup. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and liked this little dewy makeup look that I do often and if you actually have any more questions, um, I'd love to answer them in the comments down below. So yeah, next week should be our normal usual vlog, so I'll see you guys.